Hello everyone, this is LW Gaming and welcome back for another video of Langosaur M and th th this week is the final week of the major update. Yeah, we're basically one week away from the from the next one. The next update that's gonna be featuring Eshi and Hoffman. Or maybe people call her Ashen, but I think it's Eshing or something. I think it's Ashen, but at the same time it could be another way. But anyways, if if I butcher her name, I apologize. Uh, okay, I should have done the events first because that's the first thing I do every time when I cover this. So here we go. The last week of the major update is gonna is gonna have this uh you know apex of battle. There's now gonna be a Friday time slot, which is gonna be exciting. So that means you get to do some apex arena sessions on Fridays as well, which is starting tomorrow. And also, <clears throat> and also when you if you lose. Like if you lose when you're at lo when you're at lower than, than gold rank, uh, you you'll not lose as much points as you used to, so that's good to have. And there's also the support weekend uh, rewards, so yep, you you'll get more of these protection cards. So if you're still climbing in the in apex, this is this isn't so bad to to, to invest in because you you get them just by logging in. And this will stay here until uh, until the 4th of February. So let me take a look at the calendar real quick just to see how long was that. Uh, we ha we can actually claim this two times based on what I've seen because this one lasts for two weeks. So that's nice. But then once the second week is done, it will be, it'll be, it'll, it'll be gone. <clears throat> we also have the Ultra Freedom Anarchy event. This one features Ricky's new skin. And I gotta say, this skin is pretty nice. And there's some other skins on here too, if you if you want the other ones, apart from uh, Ricky. There's also Michelle, there is uh, King on the Red Moon, there's Rachel, there's Clarette, and there's Leon. And I don't remember what, since when did they put this name on here, I just noticed that. <laughs> okay, I guess it's to let you know who are they, because you know, there's some characters that are identical to the to the other. Like for example, uh, Claret and uh, Luna. I mean, they they easily can be they can tell they can be tell easily by a part. But if you want if you understand who they are, now the game tells you who they are. Okay, this is that, that might already been there, but I might be wrong. <clears throat> All right, next up, uh, let's take a look at the uh, the the Destiny Summon. This is the Strategic Masters Edition. Uh, this one is this one features Joan and Layla, Joan and Connie, and Florentia, the two duos in the same banner. How how rare is that? I wonder if we're gonna get more uh, duo units, but we're not sure if it's gonna happen. But most of the time, we all saw this like those new units usually like only comes in singular, you know, one person. But the last time when we had the new duo is Joan and Connie, so. I'm not surprised that they decided to put more uh, of this kind of theming on here, but we'll see how it goes because as far as I know, there, are, there aren't any more uh, duos at the moment, but there could be more later on. We also have the Returning Heroes of Destiny. Uh, this one features Luna, Liana, and Bozel. So if you're missing any of these characters in the Destiny banners, feel free to pick them up because there's no risk if you haven't pulled for them yet, and if you're missing one at least. But if you already got all three, then it is treated as a radar banner. And that's about it for the events coverage. Now let's move on to the to the stuff in the store. Alright, uh, the soldiers. There are some stuff in here we need to look at. So there are some Apex skins from the past, so they are, they are available in the stores. So if you really like these uh, skins for your soldiers, feel free to pick them up, but keep in mind they cost an Apex token, so just to let you know. And we'll go into that soon. We also have the returning Apex skins, that which are for Gold, Gold League I believe. I gotta say, some of these look pretty, pretty nice. But I unfortunately didn't get those because during that time I was not strong enough. And I didn't have time to invest into Apex, so those those are the times where I did not get those skins. I kind of like this skin though, but I really can't get it because you do need those th you do need those th three of these. 
in order to get this. So yeah, each of these costs three, by the way. Okay, moving on to the gift packs. So we got some, we got a lot of, a lot of things in here. So thankfully, the ones that that was given to us, they were those tokens that I, that I mentioned earlier. Uh, each of these only cost five bucks, so it is not too bad. Uh, unlike before, where you, you need to spend like twenty four just to get that one Anarchy skin. Like, oh my goodness. So anyways, Apex Salute, three bucks. And this is, this is what you get over here, like some enchanted packs, three of those. Some Arena Mastery Stones. And also some uh, Epic Gift Packs for the Mastery Stones. For just three bucks. So this is nice to have. And th this can only be bought once within two weeks. All right, and then the Apex Coin Collection, uh, collectible coin. This is the this is the thing that you need to need need to use when it comes to the the Apex skin for the gold climbing. So yeah, or actually, yeah, I think that's what it is. So anyways, each of these costs you like a uh, five five bucks, and this can be bought six times within two week period. We also have the Star Chaser M Memento. This one is uh this one gives you five hundred those training crystals as well as those protection cards, which is three of these. Kind of nice to have, but you don't need it. But if you're really struggling in Apex, then yeah, not bad to pick it up. But other than that, if you really don't want to spend money, that's totally fine. You don't have to do this. We also have the Brave Contender Support Pack. This one. This one has uh, 10 Trinity Vouchers, 200 challenge, challenge points, and uh, and also I think 1 million gold. Based on what I'm seeing, the amount of zeros are there. It's like 25 bucks on this pack, can be bought twice within two week period. Gate of Fate Gift Box. This one uh, gives you a ton of Trinity Crystals, uh, 1,048, which is, in, which is more than enough for Temple. 20 Wheels of Fate. And then uh, we also had rare and gem and gift pack and some gold, five hundred thousand gold for thirty bucks. Not a bad deal because you do get a lot out of this. Doncaster's gift. This is for your casting needs, and this the the whole set that you can use is gonna cost you like uh, thirteen bucks, which is pretty good. Unlike before, when you know the on the early weeks of major update, they gave you they they cost a lot on purpose. But because just because it because it has more, that's why. We also have the Night Caster's gift. This is for your uh, accessory casting needs for twenty bucks. Once again, this is not bad to pick up. But if you if you're not into spending money, that's fine. No need for that. And we also have the Epic Departure Scroll Chest. This is for your uh, your enchantment needs. Holy moly, fifty of those. Okay, I guess I I guess the reason is because that the the cost of this, uh, one thousand of those ores that you that you use for your SSR gear and also gambles, whichever it is. Uh, eight million gold, I believe. Yep, yeah, eight million gold for just sixty five bucks. So yeah, this pack is pricey, but you do get a lot out of this. Can be bought three times within two week period. And that's about it for the gift packs. Now let's move on to the, the banners. Uh, so that way we, I'll give you some reminders of what are staying and what are going away after a week. So anyways, uh, this this uh, awesome summon, like Fraser and Lancer 4 and 5, they will disappear by the end of the week. So if you need those characters right now, please do so before it's gone. And this is a new banner we had this week. So yep, uh, we have two weeks on this one. So if you need any of these characters, feel free to summon for them. Because you, you're going to get those one of those characters you don't own. So that's nice to have. Same goes to Heroes of Destiny. I myself already got all three, so I have no business of summoning here. Unless if you're missing any of them, please go ahead. We also have the radar banner here. This was this will go away by the end of the week, and this one features Grinchil and Lambda. Although uh, Grinchil is actually a nice addition if you don't have her, but 
If you think about summoning here, please be careful because Lambda is also on the banner and there's a good chance you might get off banner or even worse, Lambda. The reason why I said Lambda is worse is because, you know, she's not too good. She's not good anymore, to be honest. We also have or Origins of Light uh, Destiny banner for Toa, Illustru, and, and Ashamar. Those ones will go away by the end of the week. And as well as the new heroes. Uh, they'll, they'll go away by the end of the week. So once they're gone, uh, the new banner of the next major update will replace them. So, yep. That's it for the video. So hope you all find this video informative. And I'll see you all next time.